What is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. Hopefully you learned something in this video. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to track with a camera. It's an object. So when the camera moves, the object will move with the camera. And basically it like locks onto the object. And it's actually pretty easy. You can use this obviously for like nice animations where you want to focus on your object. It looks pretty nice in like product animations. You know, when you're trying to show off a product for a company like uh, let's say perfume bottle or, or you know those kind of renders those kind of things but yeah I thought I'd just show you how to do it it's pretty easy and let's jump into it first thing you obviously want an object or a mesh to for the camera to track so let's go shift a mesh and let's get Susanna monkey and what I'm going to do is the size is right with my camera you'll obviously have to add a camera but I'm just going to move the camera a little bit back G something like that and because this is going to bother me just give me a second I'm just going to add a subdivision surface modifier on Suzanne because I like it when it's smooth then what you want to do is just make sure that the monkey or Suzanne is on there or what you can do is you can just click here and you can go Bring it up like that so you're a bit more accurate and there we go that looks good now you want to press shift s and select your cursor to your camera like that then what you want to do is go shift a and get a empty then you're going to add an empty plane access then what you want to do is you want to select both of your your plane axis and your camera so hold down shift and then hit control p and and then you want to set it to object keep transform so like that and it basically makes it the same so it becomes the same object basically when you move the plane axis you move the camera which is basically what you want you'll see now if i go like this if i hit z and i go g you'll see moves together okay that's what we want and what you want to do is select Suzanne go here to constraints add object constraints and then select track to constraint tracking and then you want to select the empty and you can see now obviously our object is facing down that's okay we have to do a little bit of rotation yeah now what you want to do is you want to select Y and then you want to make it Z and then if you click on your camera now boom that's how easy it is you can see a track in the object and when you move the camera the object moves so you'll have to sometimes depend on the object play with your constraints and but it's pretty much that easy you know once you click on the camera boom it moves it around you can move it up down and yeah that's how easy it is to to create this I'll upload this to the patreon so you can download it if you want it's uh, completely free, up to you. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Check out Blender Kit. Link in the description. Check out my Patreon, like I said. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.